So here's one. Um, so uh, why do fryer sprinklers have different color systems for the bulb uh, uh, than the color code? So I'm not 100% sure what that part of the question means, but I just want to focus on the idea of the color system for the bulb. Um, that's the, the actual little part of the sprinkler head that gives off where it breaks open and the water actually comes out. Um, so the thing to say here is there are a lot of different types of sprinklers. Uh, so there are sprinklers that, um, uh, for example, in a uh, server space in a computer room, uh, I wouldn't want to have a water-based sprinkler system. Obviously, it would trash all the servers, and uh, the whole point of that room is to protect the servers. There's probably only one or two people in there. Uh, so you would use a system that would be uh, some sort of chemical-based system that the whole point is actually to take away the oxygen, right? So that's a different kind of, of sprinkler system. Uh, most places, the individual heads are going to go off in, uh, when, when there's a, a problem. But in certain places, you might find that uh, whenever there's a problem anywhere, all the heads go off. So that would be in a place like uh, the usual classic examples are like... Uh, uh, a hangar that has expensive airplanes in it. They just don't want to take the chance that the, f you know, one fire would get out of control. There's a lot of fuel around, things like that. So all the heads would go off all at once. Those are deluge systems, right? So there's lots of different kinds of systems of sprinklers. But even within each of those systems, there are different temperature ratings. So you can imagine that if you were in, uh, let's say, an office building, and in that office building uh, there was a, a big mechanical room or like the elevator mechanical room, something like that, elevator machine room, where uh, in that one spot uh, they are sometimes, for, for various reasons, you get a sort of spike of heat, but it's not really a, a spike of heat that is... Um, meaningful, it's not actually saying there's really a problem, uh, then you wouldn't want to use a sprinkler head that went off at the same heat level as you would in the ones that are in kind of a general office space. Uh, in a general office space, if I get a spike of heat of 180 degrees or something like that, well, that's really hot, uh, and that means something weird is happening, and you want something to respond. Um, whereas if I'm in the elevator machine room, actually, I'm making this up, I'm not sure about elevator machine rooms, but something, a, a place like that that generates uh, a lot of heat, and it has systems for dissipating it, but, you know, you could easily have something, or, you know, the end of an event and suddenly the elevators are all getting used constantly and it generates a, some unexpected level of heat, but it dissipates out and it's actually okay, right? So there are different kinds and they're color-coded for the uh, level of heat they can tolerate uh, before they would go off. Um, I wouldn't worry about it beyond that. I don't think you need to memorize the specific colors. Um, it's uh, I mean, feel free if you want to. Um, I certainly haven't um, and won't. Um, uh, there's no huge advantage. That's a, that's a level of detail that's just going to start to drive you crazy. Uh, if they ask you that very specific question, um, and I know it's easy for me to say it, I say guess and move on. I say guess red, maybe. I think red's always a good one to guess uh, in that situation. Um, because it's just not worth memorizing that kind of stuff. Um, but it's sort of interesting to know that that exists, that there are different types, but then there's also different temperature ranges within each type. Uh, and that makes sense. You know, you wouldn't want to have uh, a commercial kitchen uh, have the system go off at the same temperature as you would in a bedroom or in an office space or something, right? Because the commercial kitchen, you could easily imagine spikes of heat uh, that uh, would be inappropriate uh, in, in those other spaces. Okay, so real quick on some of these other things. Um, uh, oh, it's also one of the, just kind of while it's worth noting here, um, most of the time when you are uh, walking through a building and you, have, you see all the exposed mechanicals, you can always tell the basic um, uh, sprinkler pipes because they're unpainted. Uh, so there tend to be black pipe. Different locations possibly might have slightly different uh, rules about that, but generally all the ones I've seen, it's always that they don't want you to pay, pay, paint uh, the pipes and that they use black pipes. And that's so that the fire marshals, when they're walking through the building, they can very easily and quickly see uh, everything. They can test it easily. They don't get uh, lost. Like, they have a lot of stuff to cover. So they just want to make sure it's all there. So that's why generally you'll see that. You can actually get... 
uh, them to approve you painting it if uh, you really need it for some reason. Um, but uh, for the most part, they really don't want you to do that. And mostly they don't want you to do that because they don't want you spray painting uh, near the heads and it gets clogged up. It starts causing troubles. You can make it so that the, the sprinklers don't actually work anymore, but also so that they can track it as they're moving through uh, a building that's under construction and make sure that you're uh, not doing something that's going to cause trouble. They can, they can actually see it very easily. Okay, so real quick on some of these other ones. Um, so sprinklers, like I said, there's lots of different types. When you use the word valve in this context, um, there's lots and lots and lots of different ways that that word gets used. So I'm just gonna kind of skip by that one um, and say that that's just any time there's something that can alter the flow of the water. Um, and so it's a place you can turn it off, it's a place you can uh, open it up, it's a place that you can connect to uh, um, a, uh, fire hydrant or a pumper truck, anytime I have that ability to move something, the change the flow, that's a valve. Um, so dedicated standpipe valve, and then the next one is combination standpipe and sprinkler valve. So the word there to know is standpipe. Standpipe is that vertical pipe. Generally, it's located by the stairs. Um, and the reason it's located by the stairs is because it needs to go all the way from the first floor uh, all the way up the building. So if you have a five or six story uh, building, you, the one place that you know will be continuously running all the way up is going to be the stair. Uh, and so you generally have it stand, uh, go, the standpipe goes right up by that. And the standpipe is a way, if you imagine firefighters running into a building in an emergency, uh, and if, they're, uh, if they tie their uh, fire hose to a um, uh, hydrant out on the street, and then they're carrying a full fire hose up the stairs, you can imagine how messy, how water gets everywhere, people are slipping and sliding. There's going to be more people in the hospital from slipping on all the water than from the smoke or from the fire. Uh, so them running up, it's very difficult to do, it's really complicated, they're running by people who are trying to exit in a panic. Um, and so much, much easier is you attach to what's usually referred to as a Siamese connection um, on the street. That's how it'll be referred to, and that's usually because it comes out of the front of the building and then splits into two. Um, I'm sure that's a racist, ridiculous thing to say, so uh, I, they're probably trying to get rid of that. Um, but uh, when you hear the standpipe valve, that's what you're talking about. Um, that's where uh, the firefighters can show up, attach a hose to a hydrant or to their pumper truck, and then attach the other end to the standpipe, and then that pipe can fill with water running all the way right up next to the stairs. The firefighters can run up with an empty hose just over their shoulders. They run up to the floor where the fire is. They can attach to the standpipe at that floor and then fight the fire. Uh, so the standpipe becomes kind of part of that fire hose, if you will, and allows them to not have the fire hose tripping people uh, in the stairwell. Um, so it's by the stairs as a way to get it up vertically uh, because you know the stairs are going to be going all the way vertically But it's also by the stairs so that when the firefighters jump out of the stairs bang There's the standpipe right there. They don't have to find it somewhere in the in the floor plan. So uh, standpipes uh, you'll you, they will be referred to um, uh, In lots of different ways But that idea that you can attach at the street front and then it takes water vertically all the way through so then the tricky one is the combination. Sometimes standpipes also work with the sprinkler systems. Um, and so that's when you have this sort of combination uh, sprinkler standpipe uh, situation. And so you will occasionally see very complicated standpipe valves out on the street front where it'll have a bunch of different, uh, it'll say this one's associated just for the standpipe, this one's a sprinkler standpipe, this one's a, you know, and it might have five or six or seven different ones, especially for complicated buildings like a school building or something like that. You could easily have multiples uh, for different types of uses uh, through the uh, through the building. So uh, back to the sort of colors, I wouldn't spend time memorizing them. Just know that there are these differences. Uh, you also may be interested, since this came up, um, you may be interested in the fact that hydrants are different colors. And those are different colors, not from a temperature standpoint, but in terms of gallons per minute that they can produce. Uh, so if you see different uh, fire hydrant colors around the city, that's just referring to uh, how much water they have the capacity to pump out. So that way when a firefighter show up, they can make a quick decision about how much water is literally going to be able to be brought to bear and whether they need to attach to multiple hydrants or something along those lines. 
Um, again, I wouldn't worry about the specific colors, just know that that exists. Mm -hmm.